Am, okay. I, am I filming you filming I, me? I think so. Okay. Is that okay? Is that <laughs> yeah. weird? <laughs> What's up guys, it's Jack from Grow Jack Outdoors. This is my dad, Kent. And today we've actually been at the Okie Homestead. Wait, hey. stop what you're doing and feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Longhorn limo. That's just what we need. That is a Lincoln Town car with Longhorns on the front of it. All right, you can continue. <laughs> what I was saying, we've been at the Okie Home Sending Expo all day today, and I didn't really think to film, but actually tomorrow I'm speaking, so I thought I'd film. Right now, it's dark. We're at Brahms, because we needed some ice cream. That's just what we need, isn't it? Oh my gosh, everybody else needs ice cream too. This place is packed. We need our ice cream. Since line's so long, we're gonna get a tub of ice cream. <laughs> oh, of course. This is the ice cream cheat code. Yeah. If the line's too long, get a tub. There it is. Our plans changed twice. We got a tub of ice cream, and then we got vanilla ice cream instead of the cookie dough, and then we got root beer, and then cups. So, so we're having root beer floats on the tailgate. Yeah. While everybody else is still in line inside <laughs> Rome's. Dad's trying to scoop ice cream with a plastic spoon right now. How's that going? <laughs> maybe maybe we should have waited in line. I'm about to just pour root beer in in the container. <laughs> Mega root beer float. Come on. Go. Oh. There you go. You got it. Alright. That's how you make some tailgate root beer floats. Take your root beer. That one's mine. Okay. I'll start scooping mine. Alright guys, we're done with our root beer floats. Now, we got our trash. Uh, can I throw it in here? That's recycling. And this is shut. I'm just gonna open this gate. It's alright. Alright. Just. There you go. Nothing was here. No! Let's go back to the truck! Ugh. All right, guys. Well, me and Dad are gonna drive back to the hotel, and we're gonna go to sleep because it's like 10 o'clock, and I'll see you guys in the morning, and I have a presentation. There's some pretty cool people at the expo this year, so maybe, maybe we'll do some interviews. All right guys, we made it to the Oki Homesteading Expo and I just met Derek. He's doing a demonstration on this big sawmill over here and he actually has a channel. Tell us a little bit about it. So it's called Rock Hill Farms and I do anything that has to do with working outdoors. Sawmill, firewood, tractor. I've got a skid loader and I do paid work for people but a lot of it's just maintaining my own property. Yeah, so go check him out on youtube rock hill farms yep so yeah well, let's, thank you let's watch him run the sawmill for a second yeah hold on so now that we've got a two sides milled and we've got a square corner here we can take the log chops out so we don't have to worry about hitting them and the mill has built in very short stops so once you have a completely square corner you can use those and that lets you mill all the way down to one inch thick and the log stops are, or the clamps are on the other side.
This was a really tapered log, so on the first two sides, you use a jack to adjust the, the height, to try to center the pith, which is kind of the bad spot in the center of the log. Once you have two sides that are square, you're not gonna do that anymore. So, where are you from? We are from southeast Kansas. About an hour and 20 minutes from here. Yeah. How long does a blade usually last? Um, the rule of thumb, you're probably going to get two to three hours, but it's going to depend on how you're using it, the type of species of wood it is, and but that's pretty pretty much average. Some woods are a lot harder than others, so you uh, your blade's gonna work with you. So once you have all the bark off, you just cut it into your thickness of board you want? Yep, whatever you're looking for. So I do a lot of one by one by sixes, two by fours, stuff like that for building, but if you're you're trying to to make wood to sell, you usually want a lot of live edge slabs instead of dimensional lumber. See his pile yeah. Here's his pile of finished boards. It's pretty cool. He's got a whole pile of logs to do. him do this all day long where we're not pausing and talking he'll have he'll have a lot of be around and be ready for football <laughs> well i was just editing my video and i realized that i didn't get any of my presentation on film i had a presentation over trapping and my dad was too busy helping me or making sure the little kids didn't stick their hands in the trap because there was a lot of little kids up there by where i was setting the life trap but I taught them how to set a coyote trap, and hopefully I taught a lot of kids on how to trap, and adults, whoever wanted it, so back into the video. Sorry I didn't get any of my presentation on film. Alright guys, we just met Bar 7 Ranch at the Okie Home Setting Expo, and tell us a little bit about your channel. So we have a channel that's mainly just our family dynamics. Uh, we talk about ranching, our, our different businesses. We have... Uh, dry cleaners in a laundromat, rental properties, we built spec homes. Erica just got into the chicken business, so we're, we're first generation ranchers from Central Texas, and we're super excited to meet Grojack here because he's pretty awesome. Yeah, so go check out their channel, Bar 7 Ranch, and what time are you doing your... We're giving a speech on feeding butcher steers at one o'clock today. Okay, so I'll be there. Go check out the channel, Bar 7 Ranch. Keep, keep ranching. ranching. Yep. Got a guy Kinda uses the same system as my board foundry that I built. You can go watch that video. It has coals and then he's hand rotated what do you and call it? He's got a manual blower. So he's but, forcing the air into his. Yeah, I use a um hair dryer. Hair dryer so this is a lot quieter. All right, guys, I'm here with Mike from Fowler Family Farm. And tell us a little bit about your channel. Okay, my name's Mike Fowler. Um, I, on our farm, we raise goats, chickens. I do have a uh, butcher steer. Um, we have ducks. We're getting ready to get a couple of pigs. Uh, I've been watching Jack for several years now. Found him through Arms Family Homestead. And then uh, 
Really, we're, we're on 30 acres. We've been out there for about four years. We're building a house. Um, just a little bit of everything farm or homestead related, really. Yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. So yep. go check out his channel. Tell him that I sent you there. Yep. And don't you guys have some Boston Terriers? I was going to mention that. Yeah. Yes, we, we used to raise Boston Terriers. Right now, we've retired the female that we used to have. And we'll probably pick it back up in about two years. But I've always told Jack, whenever you know, whenever uh, he needs another Boston to come find me, and we've got him taken care of. Yeah, as you guys know, I have a little dog named Woody. He's a Boston Terrier, and yep. they have some dogs, so that's pretty cool. Yep. And we may need to pick up a puppy when he starts breeding him again. Exactly. So. Am, okay. I, am I filming you filming I, me? I think so. Okay. Is that okay? Is that <laughs> yeah. <weird? laughs> So Erica here said that she's gonna be the first one to grow a giant watermelon. So I with brought Jack seeds with my seeds. So I brought her a whole handful a whole of ha seeds. I'm probably gonna need all of these to actually grow a watermelon because I've I have a I have a black thumb. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, that's all right. What are my instructions, Jack? Well, I would plant them in a pot first, and okay. once they get there's gonna be two leaves when they sprout, and then once your third leaf pops up, okay. I would plant it, whichever one, so your third leaf is going to come up one way, and whichever one, way you want your vine to go yeah. is the way you, opposite way you point that leaf. So if it comes up like this, your vine is going to go that way. Okay. So. Okay, well I recorded that, so now I can, I won't forget. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I'll keep you posted. Okay. Thank you. It's coming down to like the end of the day. It's storming, so. Dad's gonna put his truck in here. I gotta spot him, he says. Somebody had pulled their Camaro in there. That's a nice Camaro. Check a seat. It makes me feel better. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Come up. Come up. Good boy. Come up, Clark. You guys probably know him already, but this is keeping keeping it Dutch. If you guys don't know that, go check him out on YouTube. Him and Kevin put this on. And what are your plans for next year? Is well, I plan on you coming before next year and helping me catch one of them coyotes or bobcats I got at my house. Yeah, so be looking forward to that. We may be coming down here to help Dutch catch his predators. Yep. So am I going to send you some traps and you're going to dye them, you're going to wax them, you're going to do all that for me? Yep. And then you and your dad will come back up. Maybe we can go camping at the creek property and set some traps up there too. Yeah, that sounds like fun. So what, what can we legally trap right now? Anything that's a nuisance. A nuisance, so a bobcat? Yep. Raccoon? Yep. About anything that is a um, nuisance to your livestock. Animals. Okay, okay. So, yeah. My German Shepherds. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't catching them. Yeah, we're not catching them. I heard you did an awesome job today in your class. I walked over there and you was already done. Yeah, it went pretty fast. You know that they said you went real quick. Yeah. So do you want to come back next year and do something like that again? Yeah. All right, awesome. So, yeah, thank you for putting this on and yeah. thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. We are heading out from the Oki Homesteading Expo. It's been such a fun weekend. We just told everybody bye. So hopefully it will be here next year. I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is probably the end of the video. So go down there, ring the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video.